Okay guys, so there's a lot of people who don't have the convenience of being able to go to the gym or even having weights at home or anything to be able to use for resistance. So I know a lot of people really enjoy being able to use resistance bands. Um, many people don't have very many exercise routines to do with the resistance bands, so I thought that I would give a couple demonstrations of different exercises that you are able to do uh, with the bands. Uh, they don't have to be anything too extreme. With the bands, they all are color-coded. Uh, whatever ones you decide to purchase, you'll have to look at the resistance on those because they do vary. Uh, different ways to add more resistance to them, though, would be obviously to step on the band and spread it out further. If you need less resistance, don't step on as much as the band. So first, what we're going to do is just different uh, bicep curls, just different ways to work your biceps. So something that I like to do is to alternate between biceps, doing the curls, okay? And then you do a couple of them together at the same time. And then you'll go back to alternating. Do two reps each side. And then you'll go them together again. Another thing that you can do with your biceps is you can do holds for a specific amount of time. So I would hold this for about 15 seconds and then you can go ahead and you can flutter them or pulse and then you can hold again and then you go back into the alternating curls doing it together and then after a couple sets of that you can hold once again do the pulse or the flutter hold again and then go back into the curl another exercise that you can do with the resistance band is uh, shoulder presses or shoulder raises whichever one that you prefer doing. They obviously all work the arms in different ways. Uh, just with the shoulder press, you're going to have to find a band that's going to give you the stretch that you're able to raise your arms above your head. So when you're purchasing them, make sure that you are able to extend all the way up. Uh, I always recommend bringing the arms and elbows down to shoulder level and then pressing up from there so there is that continuous hold within your shoulders. Same as with the biceps, you can alternate sides. Just reach across the body, and then go both arms at once, and then you can pulse on these as well. The pulse is always a great way to add just additional resistance into those muscles and to burn out some more of the fibers in there. Um, with your lateral raises, same thing, you're going to want to stand on the band, but make sure that you're able to extend your arms all the way out, come to shoulder level, drop it down, back up and down. You can also come out into front raises. Alternate on those if you'd like for a desired amount of reps or just raise both arms up in the front. You can always hold as well and you can also pulse. To re work the reverse delt, uh, I would suggest you fold the band over top of each other to add more resistance there and then you can crisscross your hands and then you're able to pull out. Same thing, if you can't get the kind of stretch that you want, uh, you may have to go with a bigger band. You'll just have to figure out what works best for you. But then you'll lean forward and extend out. Coming up. Make sure that you're bent forward though, okay? So that you get to work back here in your arm. This exercise is gonna be for your triceps. So you'll be working the back of your arms. You'll stand on the band. Um, depending on whether or not you can reach behind you with both sides of the resistance band, you'll have to double check. But if you can, you're just going to want to allow the resistance band to pull your arms all the way down, and then you're going to extend all the way up. So it may be easier if you just stand with one foot on the band so that you are able to get um, the release there from the resistance and pull all the way up or push all the way up. Make sure that you're keeping your elbows in close to your head and extending all the way out. Once again, I mean, you can alternate here if you like. You can do them both at the same time or you can pulse. Just whatever's going to burn out those muscles the best for you. Next exercise is one of my favorites because it really focuses on working your glutes and your hips as well as your thighs. You're going to want to stand on your band, and I always go a higher resistance on this one, and then you're going to squat it low, and you're going to step 
side to side. I usually like to do this for a minute each time I do it. And I like to alternate or switch it up a little bit. So sometimes I'll do the two steps each direction. Sometimes I'll just go back and forth between one. Sometimes I'll go up to three. Just do different variations of it and you'll really get a nice burn in your glutes and through your hips. Fifth exercise that we're going to add in is just uh, working the back. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your resistance band, hold it to the center. You're going to wrap it around the top of your foot and then pull it around underneath your feet and around your feet, and then you'll grab it. So each one is holding onto your foot, and you're just gonna be performing a seated row here. So you're just gonna pull back, really squeeze your shoulder blades tight, and then slowly release. So if you need more resistance, you can reach further down the band. Less resistance, you can hold on to the actual grips here, or handles, and pull those back. I personally like to grab lower, just so I have more resistance there. And then you'll perform for desired amount of reps. Uh, different ways that you can change this up is you can pull your elbows out far to the side. That will hit higher up through your rear delt, as well as up top of your shoulder. Or you can keep them lower to your side, which will hit your lats more. It's just whatever preference of exercise you want to be doing at that point in time. More.